today's video. First of all, uh, write this down inside your composition book where you started taking notes today on that page titled Similar Figures. Um, some of the classes got to this, uh, some of us didn't. So uh, write this down in your composition book. Um, I'm going to be drawing some other shapes over here on the side while I'm doing that. You can take this time to write this down. Okay? Right, so hopefully at this point you've had enough time to write that down. It's been about a minute, minute, ten seconds. Um, what we got here are two triangles. And uh, first of all, do they look similar? Well, it's a good thing because they are similar. Uh, let me get this thing a little bit closer so you can see it a little bit better. All right, should be able to see that pretty good now. Um, if these two, if I were to tell you that they're similar, and they are, um, Using that information that you have written down in your comp book now, um, what's true about angle E? Well, I'll admit to you, you probably don't know what this word is. Corresponding. Right, and a very um, simple definition for that is um, uh, an angle or, well, let's put it to you like this. If it's a corresponding angle, then it's an angle that is, all right, and here's the important part, corresponding angle, then it's an angle that is relatively, relatively in the same location. Okay, so you got two triangles, um, bottom, bottom, um, I think you can see that pretty quickly because you got the slightly slanted side and the slightly slanted side and then the deep slant and the deep slant. Okay, so it's easy to see how the shape is just, it basically it's just this shape shifted down and over and then it made bigger. Okay, so um, it's pretty simple to see that, <clears throat> that if, it, if you're looking for a corresponding angle, B corresponds with E because it's relatively in the same location. Okay, B is the bottom angle that's big. That's the bottom angle that's big. I mean, th that angle's not big, is it? No, that's not a big angle. This is a big angle. Y'all know what a big angle's called? Obtuse, okay? So, a corresponding angle is one that's relatively in the same location. So, what is the measure of E? Well, according to what you wrote down in your comp book, it said that corresponding angles are equal. So if corresponding angles are equal, then if B is equal to 106, then E is equal to 106, right? What's a... Uh, do you know anything about F? No? So could you figure out A? Nope. You know something about D? You know that it's 40 degrees. What corresponds with D? C does. So what's the measure of C? 40 degrees. All right, let me ask you this real quick. What corresponds with EF? What corresponds with that side right there? 
That's right. AB. Relatively in the same location. Yes? So what corresponds with ED? That's right. BC does. And then, of course, FD corresponds with AC. All right? Very simple. Very simple. Corresponding just means that it's relatively in the same location. If it's an angle, of course it's talking about an angle. If it's a side, of course it's talking about a side. All right, so uh, what I'm going to show you now is some questions that I want you to work and bring back to class. Um, I laugh at that because the last two times I did this to you, I forgot to ask you for it. But I want to show you something. There's my reminder. It's on the board right now, so I'm guaranteed not to forget. So I'm going to show you these questions. I want you to work those and bring them back to me tomorrow, okay? see all of it. Here we go. I'm going to read it. If these triangles are similar, so if you believe that they are, just based on the way they look, this triangle here and this triangle here, if you believe they're similar, then answer these questions. If you don't think they're similar, then don't worry about it. Okay? Hint. They're similar. Question number one, that side FP corresponds with which side? Okay, so you got side FP right here. It's going to correspond with one of these sides down here. You just got to choose which side. Um, if angle K is equal to 67, that's this angle right here, and angle L is equal to 32, that's this angle, what is the measure, not measuring, what is the measure of angle P and angle C? So angle P and angle C are up there. You just tell me what they're equal to. And then, of course, on question number three, I just want to see if you remember what that box means. Okay? Now, you can pause this and watch this. You know, you don't have to, like, just pause it. And then you can look at the screen and give me the answers to the questions. Um, kind of hard to see because of the glare right there. Um, but this right here says, what does that box mean? 